My name is John Ward. My name is Jaden Hacker. My name is Kaysen Eastep, and my parents are addicted to opioids. When I, when, at a very young age, the drug, these drugs turned my world upside down, and I witnessed them being done in my home. And I was lucky enough to be taken out. Oh, gosh, I can do this. Oh, you got it. When I didn't even understand what they were. Opioids do not only affect the abuser, but they affect the children as well. No child deserves to feel as if a drug is worth more than them, and that is how I felt when I was little. And now, more children feel this way, and my story is only one of many. There is a continuing looming opioid crisis in our schools and communities. 5,000 children in our state are in kinship care, meaning they live with a family member, and 92 to 95 percent of the children living with their relatives are removed due to opioid abuse, just like I was. That is equal to 4,600 children living with relatives as a direct result of parental drug abuse. The overwhelming use of opioids in our communities have caused this. What did I say? this severe outbreak of HIV and hepatitis. Um, my county, McGoffin, is 15th in the state for vulnerability of these diseases and 23rd in the whole nation for vulnerability. Um, what we plan to do to fix this problem in our community is to um, <clears throat> start an opioid awareness conference. This conference is going to be a one-day thing where we're going to invite guest speakers and health professionals and other local people to help explain to the children what this crisis is and how, to, how we can prevent it. We're, we plan to start at a young age. I believe that if we start at the high school level or even younger that we could stop this academic from our generation. And let's look at our generation. After this awareness crisis, like uh, we plan to... Uh, bring in more guest speakers and we plan to uh, start on uh, we have a student um, advisor advisee uh, this this is a um, a class that is uh, broke into um, our last names with our last names we are took to a room and the teacher we look at whatever is on the agenda we plan to get a story like case and story and let the students know that they're not alone that they have people to talk to we plan to start a Unite Club in the, in the high school to help raise awareness for this problem. We plan to start a club that is for people like Kaysen, that don't have anybody else, that whenever they need to talk to somebody, they can go and talk to them, that, that they have somebody other than just themselves, that they know that the community supports them 110%. And Um, our research question basically asks how our conference is going to um, be effective against this epidemic and how we're going to increase education and increase prevention of the opioid epidemic. We know that we'll succeed by the increase of education and the increase of prevention. By increasing our education, we can therefore increase prevention. If you know how it affects you, you can know how to stop it and decide not to do it. I know most people think that when you have a parent that does drugs that the child's going to end up doing drugs too, but I'm a perfect, perfect example that if your parent does drugs, you can go in the totally opposite direction and want better for yourself and for the people around you. And how will we measure those outcomes? Pre and post conference surveys, attendees will be surveyed on several different topics and areas. And pre and post surveys will be analyzed in order to determine if awareness and knowledge has been raised among the attendees. And how can you be sure that any positive outcomes on these measures are actually due to your innovation and not something else? The surveys will be administered upon entrance and departure from the conference. Immediate administration of surveys will eliminate the possibility of secondary factors affecting the increased awareness. Any questions? Thank you.